Good morning, guys. Welcome to my Monday morning rant for Monday, the 11th of July, 2022. So last week I had lunch with the family at Kingsford Peking, Kingsford Peking restaurant. Um, my family has been following this guy, Peter, uh, this chef, Peter, since I was a kid. So one of my dad's good friends and wherever he was working, we would be eating. And, uh, my earliest memories, I think was a restaurant in Kuji beach. Um, and eventually he had his own restaurant, uh, in Kensington, right next to the post office called Kensington Peking. And uh, that did really well. And he ran that place into the ground. I'm talking about like um, holes in the carpet and uh, really worn down. Uh, nothing had changed in years. Um, pink napkins and um, just light so bright that you uh, you're uncomfortable, uh, but the food was always so good, and, uh, yeah, he shut down, he shut down, um, quite a few years ago, I'm pretty sure it, it was even before the whole pandemic thing, and, uh, he's been sadly missed by our family, because we eat there whenever Rellos come over, or catch up with friends, or I catch up with my friends, I'll, I'll take them there. Uh, it is um, our favorite Chinese restaurant. So super happy that he has reopened um, just down the road in Kingsford now. Uh, so it's called Kingsford Peking. And, you know, we always used to joke that his name's Peter and there's um, Peter of Kensington, uh, this big, um, what do you call it? What do they sell? They sell stuff. They sell you know, kitchen pr products and gizmos and a gift shop, um, and which which is also my dad's mate, and and Peter 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 of Kensington's been there since I was a kid, but um, Peter of Kensington has always been um, my uncle Peter that runs a Chinese restaurant, you know. So um, so yeah, he's in Kingsford now. Uh, he is the chef there, but it's not his restaurant. It's apparently his son-in-law's restaurant, who. Uh, was a lawyer, but has decided to open a restaurant instead, which is pretty cool. Um, super stoked. The food's the same. Um, he's got a few signature dishes. Uh, at some stage, our family got really sick of having the traditional picking duck. So uh, the way Peter does it is he deep fries the duck to a point where it's so crispy that you can eat the bones. Uh, and it really changes the way you have Peking duck. Um, he does a, a Shantung chicken. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's it's amazing. It's his own style. And uh, he does a shredded beef that uh, is so crispy. No one does it like that. No one, no other restaurant does it the same way that he does his shredded beef. Um Everything, everything is good. The shallot pancakes, the salt and pepper prawns, uh, they're not oily. They're done in a, in a, a really delicious, dry, drier batter than usual. Um, yeah, go, go and try it. It's cheap. It's cheerful. Uh, it's my Uncle Peter's restaurant. Um, in Kingsford, Kingsford, Peking. Go for it. Uh, also caught up with um, my mate's kid, Julio, the rap artist, last week. Uh, he, like other 19-year-olds out there, he's uh, up and down and, and uh, he's gotten himself into quite a bit of trouble with the law and stuff out in uh, Tamworth of all places. But he's back in the city and uh, he's got a, a good job. He's got a he's got a solid job at the casino, um, working the tables, uh, and he's also working on an EP. So I am going to be working on his logo, a logo type. He likes the stuff that I do, so I'm just going to be doing more of what I like, which is great. 
I love that. A um, bit of pressure on myself. I really want to do a good job. So I'll be working on the new Julio logo. Um, also had an issue with one of the girls that I shoot. She's decided to uh, take a break from work for a moment. Something's popped up in her personal life. Totally understand it. But um, has asked me to take down all the photos that I've taken of her, which is a fair call. Uh, it's just that I was just getting around to posting these photos on my Patreon and guys on my Patreon had been looking forward to this set. So she's been super cool and totally understanding and is cool if I use the photos for the rest of this month for my um, paid paid Patreons so I can make some money there. Um, and so, yeah, I have to finish editing that set. Uh, we've got to get on it now and uh, get that out there. Uh, and who knows what will happen with, with her going forwards anyway. she's It's all up in the air at the moment. Shit happens. Um, so there's that. And uh, also I did a podcast with uh, Willie. He's um, a chef who runs a YouTube channel and is also part of the signature sound writing community that I'm, uh, I'm involved with, uh, with Leslie and friends. So... Um, was good it was good to have a podcast with this guy he reached out to me um sort of wanting to maybe touch base on some marketing ideas for getting his youtube youtube sort of channel out there and i'm like nah you know this <laughs> that's all nitty-gritty like we ended up talking about life and stuff which is you know i just wanted to get to know the guy i've been in a zoom call or a couple of zoom calls with him already but it was just nice to have a one-on-one -on -one. and um I will get around to publishing that as a Zen podcast at some point, for sure. Uh, and I still have uh, two shoots to edit. One with uh, Juhi, an escort from Melbourne, and also the shoot that I did with Viv when she got back from London last week. So I've still got a lot of... Um, photo stuff to do, and it's like absolutely miserable... Uh, Sydney weather, super cold and wet, raining. Hope the mold doesn't come back. Um, so it's good weather to be getting in the zone and shooting. I mean, editing. Um, editing my sh shoots. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Uh, hope everyone has a great week. I shall catch you guys in the next one. See us.